Okay, so next we have my cohort, <laughs> Alyssa Goldstein. <laughs> she looks so cute tonight. So, so Alyssa, um, what you're wearing, did, uh, did you get this for, for this evening? That's so nice. I'm gonna explain. Okay, okay. So, um, so Alyssa, <laughs> um, Alyssa Goldstein, she studies classical voice, literature, um, and poetry at the New School. Uh, she creates handmade poetry books, and she loves sexy vampires. Uh, words, creativity of all kinds, and creativity of all kinds with sexy vampires. Uh, she loves being drunk in Chanel. God bless her. she would have me write a Halloween story that I would also write music to, or at least the lyrics to when I was like really little, and she would compose and we would send it to all of our relatives. So it's my, that's my Halloween contribution. I'm gonna take this off so you can maybe do it. <laughs> Not that I can't take myself seriously in that, because I can't. Okay. I went to pick up the jacket I'd forgotten. This morning, your saliva came into my mouth. In the trim light, your skin, that which I had barely heard inside my hands, spoke. You spread fingers below my stomach. You said, I miss being inside you. And we looked at your hand, sure and wide, like it was touching a baby. We both are and inside Earth. All intangibles barely body, now polished daubs of rain worn warm. It means we're inside each other's faces, are absorbed. It's not like being a body on a bed. I hear you become beneath my muscles, like Reich's phasing, our cyclical harmony to one, to us becoming quietly full by my arm-wrapped legs. <laughs> Drawing up my soul to the skin. In front of an evening mirror, I looked at my body and thought, this body of mine is something that should be touched. Alone, I touched the rounds and the angles of it, the creases, roughs, the slopes that had been kissed, the bones close to the skin of my feet, the parts that bunched when I leaned. Thank you. 